and I'm a cartoonist and I'm a proud member of the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. These guys are the very quiet soldiers who are defending your right to speak freely in print and in public. And CBLDF are the people who hire the lawyers who make the cases, who talk to the, the courts, and who make you know, make, make the uh, plea before the judge to defend the individual's right to speak freely in society. And we're here in Axel Arts in uh, Brooklyn. You know, I had this idea, like, let's, let's work with Axel and do uh, a limited edition print, a very beautiful fine art print, the kind of thing that these guys do for, like, MoMA or the Guggenheim. Let's do a really nice print and make it a thank you gift for those patrons who are able to jump in on the side of the CBLDF at the $500 level or greater. I decided on an image of a Huron Indian under a tree, and it's a, a pregnant moment. Like It's like a, in the tradition of maybe like N.C. Wyeth or um, Rockwell, where it's like you, you get this moment in time and you're not quite sure what the narrative is. So it's, as Jack London said, uh, a picture without beginning or end. So when you look at the drawing itself, it has kind of a, um, um, a resonating quality because it's a line drawing. When you first look at it, it's like, that's a nice drawing, black and white. But when you look at it carefully, it's like, wow, they've actually replicated the experience of, of actually owning the original drawing itself. And, you know, if you do the math on it, if we have, you know, 50 prints and a $500 starting point, that could potentially raise $25,000 for the fund and something I'm doing to make a difference. This is yet another place where the legitimacy of comics is being stamped onto culture. And I think that's extremely exciting. So I'm, I'm, I'm a member and I'm, I, support, I support the uh, fund and I hope that others do as well. This is the dirty little secret of cartooning. The whiteout pen 